Here at Speedify, we get a lot of very specific technical questions. Let's take a look at a question that was asked in our comments. One viewer asked, I'm wondering if I can have two Starlinks bonded together. I just want to have bigger bandwidth. And another one asked, so I have one Starlink account, then I buy two extra Starlink dishes, then I use Speedify to connect all three dishes together to get faster speed and connectivity. Yes? Thanks for asking. The short answer? Yes. But to be able to better answer that, we need to take a closer look at how Starlink really works. So Starlink is SpaceX's satellite internet that uses low Earth orbit satellites to beam internet to ground stations spread all over the planet to provide you with internet. What makes Starlink different from other satellite internet services is that because of the satellite's low orbit, they have less latency and higher performance. But unlike the old satellites that were in geosynchronous orbit, sitting in one place moving along as the Earth rotated, Starlink satellites are moving constantly, which means that it can happen that your Starlink dish and the satellites above are out of range. Plus, SpaceX has programmed these dishes so that every 15 seconds, all of the dishes around the world reevaluate which satellite they talk to. Which means that every 15 seconds, all of the dishes briefly lose connectivity for a moment or two, all at the same time. You like this video so far? Subscribe to our channel for more tech tips, Speedify how-tos, and our weekly office hours live stream where we answer your tech questions live. Now that you understand how Starlink works, it's easier to answer that question. Yes, Speedify can bond multiple Starlinks together and give you improved speed and reliability. People really see a huge difference in the upload. Starlink can give you two or 300 megabits down, but only about 50 up. So putting the two of them together, people often manage to add the uploads together to get really a big improvement in their internet speeds. An interesting thing, Starlink says if you have multiple dishes, keep them at least a foot apart. 30 centimeters. I'm surprised how close they allow you to put them, but they do. So you can have multiple Starlinks on the same roof, use Ethernet to get them to, you know, your computer or router, and then use Speedify to bond them together for improved performance. There is one twist though, which is that, as I mentioned, Starlinks every 15 seconds, all of them switch satellites, and there's a fraction of a second that they're out. So Speedify can't fill in that gap because, you know, when one internet connection stops working, it tries to use the other but they're both out at the exact same time. This is why we recommend adding another connection to the mix to help with the Starlink. This can be an old DSL connection you still have or the cellular data from your phone. Even 3G is a huge improvement in that moment when it's switching satellites. As long as you have a second connection next to those Starlinks as a backup, Speedify will be able to keep you stable and online without interruptions. And with Speedify's parent share, you can have as many cellular connections as you want wirelessly. Just connect both your devices to the same Wi-Fi, run Speedify on both, and pair your devices. As long as your local area network is still active, even if your main internet connection, in this case the Starlink, goes down, parent share will remain active and Speedify can save your browsing, gaming, live streams, or video calls so you can enjoy your time online. That's it. Hope it helps. Now that you have the gist of how Speedify works with two Starlinks, check out this developer discussion video because we go deep into how we get Speedify to work best with multiple Starlink connections.